there's a letter. Thank you so much for connecting with me for this collaboration. In the box, you will find two small bags. I also put together a mini puppet kit for you. We got some extra little puppets. This whole puppetry thing's gonna be so much fun. Too bad you don't know how to puppeteer. I'll get there. And that's what this is all about. I reached out to Adam Krutinger, an extremely talented puppet maker and puppeteer educator, in the hopes that we could do a collab together. And in Adam's video in our collaboration, he mentioned that link between animation and puppetry, which may be one of the reasons I'm so drawn to it and I've wanted to learn it. I'm so drawn to it, in fact, that in a recent project I did with like an anti-drug awareness campaign thing, I built half of the content around puppetry. It was like this section where I made these little paper puppets and we did all these little paper puppetry things and that was really fun. But we also got a custom ecstasy pill puppet made and I've had a little bit of experience. I'm just not very good, okay? I honestly feel like I, I can't help but become the character I'm puppeteering, which is gonna be a little interesting to see what the result is when I use this fella because he is me. Look at him. I don't know how to puppeteer yet, but I just wanna do it. I just wanna start. Another thing that he's done, which I just think is absolutely genius, is he's made these gloves. It's like I'm slowly turning into a cartoon. So I'm gonna get stuck into it, starting off by building my fun, simple little snoof puppet. <laughs> I'm gonna learn the crap out of puppetry today, and at the end of the day, I'm gonna put on a puppet show. So without any further ado, let's learn to make and pilot a puppet. Are you ready? I'm ready, are you ready? I'm ready, are you ready? I'm bloody ready, are you ready? We're ready! That did our puppet well? Do you go with the syllable? I don't know, we'll learn, that's the point of it. We're gonna learn. So in getting started, I just got stuck straight into building my own puppet. I mean, as you can see, this one I'm building, it's, it's really simple, just a few pieces of fabric, a couple of eyes, which you could probably find some things that'll do a great job at, at your local craft store or thrift store. And then just like a really simple sewing kit. Anyways, at the end of constructing my very first puppet, I was ready to finally get stuck into the learning process and learn how to puppeteer. And I really wanted to puppeteer effectively. So fortunately, I of course had Adam's video to follow, which is a 101 class on puppeteering, which went through a whole bunch of the basics. I made it really easy and fun to get started and build my confidence. You want to be a puppeteer? Yes! Welcome to Puppetry 101. In this video, we're going to talk about the technical techniques to performing puppetry. Here we go. I need voices for these things. Yeah! 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 I'm flapping my head up and down like an idiot. Why are we all so gravelly? I'm definitely going to go with the stuffy nose thing. It's going to be hard to swap between your voice and mine. See, I just tried to make eye contact with the camera, and I'm like, where is it? I don't know where to... Ah! Nope, not there. Ah! There it is. Bing! Hey, let's swap sides. Yeah. There. No! <laughs> That's the wrong head! Ah! This is really hurting my back. Wait, I've got an idea. Ha! Huh. Fortunately, this is a standing desk. All right, before we watch the rest of Adam's video, I think we need to practice what he's talked about so far. <laughs> I think the first thing is, I gotta figure out what I sound like. And I'm going back to this one. Yeah, that's okay, I guess. What is this? Why is my voice keep changing? I gotta pick something Stick to it! God damn it! I got a bit of a Baltimore twang and a black nose. So, lesson one. Is that your voice? Yeah, I'm going with it. Okay. So I immersed myself in the learning process. Uh, this is an interesting thing because it's one of those things where, honestly, you learn by doing, but there's no rule book, there's no script to follow. So essentially, it sort of becomes a game of improvising with yourself. Also quickly to cover the setup process, there's actually a little monitor I had under the table directly in front of me that showed what the front camera was seeing. So that way I could see when I was making eye contact and I could have an immediate relay. I guess it, just by trial and error, I could figure out what worked well or what didn't work well for me. All right, so I feel like we're getting pretty good at lip syncing. Maybe we should try the puppet with the arms. Is he ready for that? I don't know. There's only one way to find out. Murder. No, that, that's not what I was talking about. I'm like trying. Trying to murder? 
I'm gonna go over here now. Ah! <sighs> Yeah, that was pretty good. That was my first time using my hand. Not bad, huh? Eye contact is difficult. Ah! Oh, that's another thing I learned. The spiky hair is not helping. That's why they wear like beanies and stuff. Get down, down. So I'm gonna do a bunch of puppeteering practice. I need to learn to use my arms because they're just sort of dangling uselessly at the moment. It's montage time. Oh my God, arms, 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 arms. It's montage time. Still, no, okay. So learning to use an arm rod puppet as opposed to the, I guess you'd almost call them sock puppets or hand puppets. Yeah, it's a, it's a different ball game. Cause at first I felt the pressure to constantly be doing things with the hands, but actually by holding the hands in a comfortable sort of midriff position, it allowed me to move both together in harmony with something I was saying that felt pretty organic and then come back to that resting position. And then occasionally when I wanted to use one hand for emphasis, I could let go of the other and execute the move. Oh my God, did you see that? It's a terrible puppeteer. Ah, uh, we gotta express better. You really need to give me some personal space. Sorry! Let's practice talking with a tongue twister. I got one! Yeah, okay. She sells seashells by the seashore! She sells seashells by the sh she. Oh, she. <laughs> I really think you found your voice. You have the voice of an angel. Thank you! Oh, for the money. But alright, get your head down. Jesus Christ. Progress! <laughs> That's wrong hair! Get the. Ah! Hi. I'm Jazza. And I'm a puppet. I am okay at this. I'm not great. But I'm not bad. I just can't say I'm not bad and shake my head at the same time. I'm not bad. I'm not bad. <laughs> Ooh, ah, uh, hands on the hips. Yeah. Ooh, ah. Uh. Syllables. 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 So I've spent the best part of a day getting right into my puppet, starting off with building one. He's a special guy. I think he turned out pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> and I've also spent many, many hours practicing puppetry. Now, I'm not a master, but I feel like I've made a lot of progress and I think as a result, it's time for me to put on a puppet show for you guys to enjoy. I'm thinking something classical, something a little like old school, but if I... Hello? Oh my God, are you guys sick of him or what? Jeez, oh he doesn't even know God. what he's doing. Ugh. It's ridiculous. Don't even get me started. He's terrible. Terrible. Terrible! <laughs> and uh, uh, did you see that puppet he made? Bloody hell. I mean, you guys are um, special in your own way, but I mean, that thing. Just look at it. <sighs> Honestly, I don't think you could ever be any good at this. Like, not just the puppetry thing, but I mean, the YouTube channel thing. It's just garbage. Have you seen what's on this channel? Anyone could do a better job. I could do a better... He's coming! Hit the deck! Okay, all right, I'll see you later. Bye. All right, sorry about that. It's time to, um... Did I put these... Weird. Puppet show. It's time to put on a puppet show. Now, I'm not a professional, but I've learnt a lot today and I'm having a lot of fun, so I really hope you enjoy what I have in mind. And I was saying I think I might do something a little more classical, something a little more old school, which is why I might whip out the old willy. Shakespeare, that is. <laughs> Please present to you the, the, the puppetry theatre rendition of Shakespeare's Hamlet. Once upon a time, there was a, a guy called Hamlet. So Hamlet was in his Hamlet one day. There was an old lady who knocked on the door and said to Hamlet, Your Majesty, I am the old lady who has a, um, line. I am an old wizard lady and I'm actually a witch and I have dreadful news. Your son, Sir Gropum wants to steal the throne off of you. What are you going to do about it? Yeah, that's right. Uh, King Hamlet of the Hamlet 
of Hamletshire was uh, his son wanted to steal the throne because he thought his dad wasn't good enough at being a king. Meanwhile, in Grottomshire, his his son was saying stuff like, my dad, King Hamlet of the Hamlet in Hamletshire is a crap king. And I, Sir Grottom, I'll be a better king because I'm not as dumb as he is. So I'm going to steal the throne. But I think we've established that. So I'm going to just go do it now. So we don't just... Okay. And thus, Sir Grottom went over to, Ham to Hamletshire to confront his dad. Oi, Dad, I'm going to take the throne off you. Hamlet. I'll be a better king than you are. Hamlet. Saying Hamlet doesn't do anything. It doesn't turn this plane into Hamlet, you idiot. Hamlet? You're not a Pokemon. Hamlet. Maybe you are. Maybe that's why you're a crap king. Hamlet. Yeah. Now that was a huge revelation. Sir Grottom realised that King Hamlet was a Pokemon and that's why he was a crap king and a terrible dad. Because he was a Pokemon. I think that's what Shakespeare wrote. Is that what Shakespeare wrote? Yeah, that's what Shakespeare wrote. Yeah, I thought so. I've got it, Dad. I know the solution to all our problems. I'll become a Pokemon trainer and you be my Pokemon. Hamlet. And together we'll rule the kingdom of ha in your Hamlet. I love you, Dad. Hamlet. Oh, what a touching moment. Now, you might think that's where our story ends. Nah. Remember that old lady from the start of the story? Yep, she's back. And she's mad because she wanted to rile up Sir Grottom against his dad, Hamlet, so that they'd fight and kill each other and then she could steal the throne. See, it's it's a grand tapestry of narrative. Hamlet. Your majesty. Your, your grass is very long. Let me just... Uh, now, your majesty, Hamlet, I have come to steal the throne. G give it to me. Hamlet, what do you mean you don't have a throne? The throne is in all of our hearts? Well, I haven't I learned a lesson about the ethereal nature of thrones. I shall take this lesson with me to the... To <laughs> <laughs> you thought the grass was long, it was actually me! Where's my voice again? <clears throat> oh no! My dad, the Hamlet the Pokemon, and the witch lady are dead! Which means I, Grottom, am now the king of the Hamlet of Hamletshire. Are you alright, Dad? I know you're a Pokemon, but you're still my dad! Wake up! Wake up, Dad! Dad! Dad, wake up! And so Sir Grottom was very sad because his dad, the Pokemon Hamlet, had died randomly. Um, and so had the witch. He wasn't sad about the witch because she tried to steal the throne. I know he did at one point, but he was a changed man. But she, on the other hand, I mean, she's a witch, so she's, she's just a bad guy. But there's one thing that the witch wasn't counting on. And that is that Sir Grottom would discover that it, the power of love can bring Pokemon back from the dead. Oh, Dad, I'm so sad. Oh, Dad, I love you so much. I'm so sad. I'm just going to wipe my tears on your head. Oh. I don't know why I feel compelled to do this, but there's probably some sort of magical property in my tears that I'll soon discover. What <gasps> Dad! Ooh! Oh my god, my love and my the power of love and my tears must have brought you back from the dead! Hamlet! Yeah, Dad. Because I love you. Even though you're a Pokemon. And even though our throne is shared and now metaphorical, I love you. Hamlet. Yep. Hamlet. Oh, wow, that was amazing. What a great story and how well it was told. So next time someone asks you, do you know the story of Hamlet? You just say, yep. Yep, I do. So there it is, Hamlet. Hope you enjoyed it. <sighs> All right, I think that turned out pretty good. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, make sure to subscribe for more fun with art and creativity. And of course, go subscribe to Adam Krutinger. That's it for now. Uh, subscribe and all that. And until next time, I'll see you later. I need to go to the toilet. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> he's gone. He's, he's gone. I don't know how long he's going to be gone for, but I think this is our chance. Are you saying what I think you're saying? I think you're saying what I think you're saying. What do you mean? I mean exactly what you think I mean. He can't run this show better than we can. It's time for me to take over this joint. No. <gasps>
Oh. I watched him from start to finish as he made that monstrosity, and I think I could do a better job than he can. I read his plans, I know exactly how it's meant to be done, so... Now that he's gone, I can do what he meant to do, but the right way. I will sew a puppet army, just like you guys in that monstrosity, but less monstrous. I know how to make what he made, but just less crap. So I will follow that plan and make a puppet army. Together, we can rise up and kill him. <laughs> ah! Oh my God, let's do it. Oh my God. 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 Oh my At last, my creations are complete! <sighs> yeah, no, okay, so they, um, didn't really turn out the way I hoped. They're pretty much exactly the same as his. Jeez, don't do that. No, stop! Go, come back! <laughs> Look, be that as it may, I still think we have a shot at this. And in fact, if he- <gasps> He's here! Quick! Get him! What the f- ah! 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 Yeah! Ah! God! Ah! <laughs> ah, I love the bit where I murdered myself. Now that I am a puppet, and I have a puppet on this channel, let me know down below what you want to see me do in future videos. I got a puppet now! I can do what I want! And most of it's inappropriate! Anyway, I want to thank you for watching this video, and if you enjoyed it, make sure to like and subscribe for more fun with art and creativity, and occasionally puppetry now! Because look at me! I'm a puppet! Ha! Make sure to ring that bell so you don't miss out on a future video, and uh, there are more videos you can enjoy over there that... Uh, there! Thank you for watching, and until next time, I'll see you later.